Welcome to my basic mechanical engineering playlist. Today I am going to discuss about constant volume process or it is called as isochoric process. So let's see the outlines of the session. Relation between pressure, volume and temperature. Then work done during the constant volume process. Then change in internal energy. Then heat transferred. And at last change in enthalpy during constant volume process. So let's see the derivation of the different terms for the constant volume process. Consider the gas is filled in a cylinder with fixed piston as shown in figure A. So let's see the figure A in which this is the cylinder and this one is the piston. And here keep in mind that this is a fixed piston because of it is the constant volume process. And so that I have put it over here. This is called as the stopper so that the piston can't move. And here this is the system and that is filled with the gas and let's say it is the figure A. Now next here it is the burner that is provided to change the state of the gas. Now let's draw the PV diagram to show the state one of this gas without heat supplied. So this is the pressure versus volume diagram and let's say it is the state one. And the corresponding pressure is P1 and corresponding volume is V1. And let's say it is figure B. Now, when heat is supplied to the gas, its pressure and temperature increase as shown in figure B. Here, there will be no any effect because when you supply the heat to the gas, the volume can't be changed, but definitely the pressure and temperature will change and so that it will reach to the state 2. So let's see, this is the state 2 after applying the heat with the help of the burner to this gas. And so that the corresponding pressure is P2 and corresponding volume is V2. And here you know that it is constant volume process, so it should be the vertical line. And so that V1 is equal to V2. And this is the process that is known as the constant volume process. Or you can say it is isochoric process. Now let's start with the first relation between pressure, volume and temperature. The general gas equation is PV upon T is equal to constant and so that you can say P1 V1 upon T1 is equal to P2 V2 upon T2. But here you know that this is a constant volume process and so that you can say V1 is equal to V2. So it will be cancelled from both sides. So finally you can say P1 upon T1 is equal to P2 upon T2. So make a box. Now the second one, work done during the constant volume process. So as you know that work done W is equal to integration of PdV. So you can say W is equal to zero because of you know that there will be no any change in volume and so that dV is equal to zero and that's why the W is equal to zero. So make a box. Now next one change in internal energy and that is always equal to mcv dt where dt is the change in temperature during the process 1 2 so i can say over here du is equal to mcv t2 minus t1 so make a box now the next term heat transferred during the constant volume process so according to the first law of thermodynamics you can say Q is equal to W plus DU. Now, you know that during the constant volume process, work done is zero. So I'm going to put W as zero plus. Also, we have discussed DU is equal to MCV delta T. So at last, I can say Q is equal to MCV T2 minus T1. So that is your next answer. Heat transfer during the constant volume process is always MCV delta T. Now next, change in enthalpy. By definition of enthalpy, you know that H is equal to U plus PV. Now, if it is for the state 1, then you can say H1 is equal to U1 plus P1 V1. And for the state 2, you can say H2 is equal to U2 plus P2 V2. Now, I want to find over here change in enthalpy. So I can say dH is equal to H2 minus H1. Now put the value of H2 from this equation. So 
So it is u2 minus u1 plus p2 v2 minus p1 v1. Now here u2 minus u1 that means change in internal energy and already we have derived du is equal to mcvt2 minus t1. So I can put it over here plus as it is and you know that pv is equal to mrt. So I can put it over here mr is common in bracket t2 minus t1. Now once again you can take here m as a common and t2 minus t1 is also common. So I can write over here m t2 minus t1 in bracket cv plus r. Now next m in bracket t2 minus t1 as it is. Now you know that cp minus cv is equal to r and so that you can say it is cp. So finally you can say change in enthalpy dh is equal to m cp t2 minus t1. So make a box. So we have derived in this session the total five different terms for the constant volume process. So if you have any doubt then you can raise your question in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video.